Hi, this is Merrick Citizen. In today's video, I'm happy to introduce you the Craft Bible. So first, let me explain um, how uh, the Craft Bible uh, project started. A few weeks ago, when I started creating those uh, YouTube videos about Craft, I found out that the information related to craft is, is kind of spread out on, on the web and there is no folk, uh, centralized uh, uh, website with all the information that uh, a, a, a craft user might uh, find interesting to know about. And after doing a few videos, the, the idea can, kind of came together of creating this website uh, using craft which would be um, organized in a different uh, subsection, each of them being uh, oriented toward a specific aspect of craft. Um, the general design principle uh, behind this uh, craft Bible is to be visually pleasing. And also uh, I'm trying to match the actual craft branding by using all the built-in uh, formatting options uh, that are available in, in craft. So the end result is that if you, when you look at the craft Bible, you feel at home uh, or you feel there's some uh, 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 familiarity with the craft application itself. So that's that's one of the goal I had when I designed the uh, the general look of this website. So what you're seeing right now is the main page of the craft Bible. I'll put the bookmark uh, reference in the show notes below. The, the Craft Bible is divided in different sections. There is kind of an intro, uh, introduction to the Craft Bible itself. And also there's a bunch of different sections where they talk about very different uh, aspects of craft. And then at the end of the main page, there is the guest book. The guest book is a place where I'm hoping that the visitors of the Craft Bible will uh, leave a comment uh, or suggestion uh, about the Craft Bible. So again, if you happen to visit the Craft Bible, I encourage you to uh, leave me a comment. Uh, I'll try to respond uh, to them as they come by. And also at the end of it, at the end of the main page, there is a section describing the update history of the Craft Bible. I find it interesting to, to list all the improvements that uh, will be done within uh, the website and also to kind of uh, tease uh, what's coming up in, uh, for the next major updates to uh, the Craft Bible. So that's something you can see from the main page of the website. So let me show you a few example craft, uh, a few example of section I put together. Uh, the first one is about craft itself. Uh, I'm trying to kind of uh, explain what is craft, uh, how it can be used, what are the typical workflows where you can um, uh, use craft, and I think that a lot of people will use craft in a collect, organize, distill, and express. Um, workflow where um, people uh, collect, use craft to collect information or to organize that information and eventually to kind of uh, remove things that are not needed and kind of clean up the content. And eventually they will use craft to express themselves, either by writing a book, a, an article, a blog post, or even creating videos or doing some photography or anything else that is related to uh, being creative. So this is what I'm trying to explain there. And also there's a few uh, videos found on YouTube that I think are showing craft uh, in a great way uh, for people who are not used to, 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 uh, to or don't know about craft. They can see craft in action and get there, get an idea of what is craft all about. So there's a few more, a few other sections. There's a craft resources section where you'll see the official what's new uh, sub website available on, uh, on the craft, the main website by the craft team. There is the reference to the craft help uh, done again from uh, made by the official team behind craft. There is a section related to um, templates that you can use 
uh, that I think are showing how craft templates can be used. There is a few uh, videos about craft, like the uh, YouTube channel made by the craft people. And also there is the excellent craft weekly newsletter that started to uh, publish um, weekly a few weeks ago. And I think there is a lot of information in that uh, newsletter, which happens to be free and made by craft, by craft uh, people who love the application. And also you'll see a few um, craft members that are known to be uh, on Twitter. So you can find their profile page there. Also the best YouTube videos uh, about craft. Um, this is a, a selection of what I think are good videos in explaining a certain aspect of craft or seeing craft in action. So you'll see obviously a few of my uh, videos, but uh, videos from other guys too. And there is a uh, tips and tricks section where you can see a few uh, tricks that are useful and make, could make a difference for your workflow. Uh, some are written um, tricks, but other are more uh, visually explained. Uh, so I created those small clips. There is also a, a section showing build, a, a great uh, website built using craft. Uh, there's a bunch of them and I think there's a more and more craft uh, website uh, being uh, put online uh, every week. There's a sampling of the craft best user interface elements that I think are making uh, craft unique compared to other software in that field. So I decided to create a collection of those uh, uh, user interface uh, elements that I find uh, well designed and expressing uh, the craft personality. There is also a collection of craft communities where you'll see uh, a Reddit community references and also the soon to be launch um, craft uh, circle uh, community and also there is uh, obviously the slack uh, community um, that you can uh, uh, go from there and visit yourself if you are a user of slack there is also a few things that are worth mentioning like the craft automation uh, there's a few things that i'm putting together there related to shortcuts but eventually, I'll add some more information related to how Craft could uh, be used in conjunction with IFTT or Zapier. So those things are coming shortly. Uh, there's also a section related to uh, how you can use other resources with Craft to kind of uh, um, make your Craft content prettier or uh, better um, in, uh, from a design or from a visual perspective. There's also a, references, a reference to the hook application on macOS that is uh, frequently used with Craft. So you will have some information there. And don't miss also the excellent Raycast utility that is available on macOS. And you can use an extension of Raycast to search for content uh, within your craft uh, environment. Also, there is a um, section related to craft versus, versus uh, Notion. Uh, this is uh, a long uh, a standing uh, discussion, what's better between craft and Notion. The idea of this section is not to answer the question itself, but just to show uh, different perspectives related to uh, craft and notion. Uh, both applications kind of uh, uh, compete against each other. There is a craft alternatives section where people, a lot of people who are using craft uh, came from other applications like Evernote, Roam, uh, Luxec or uh, Beer or Notion. So I, I kind of put together a section of those applications where people come from. And also there is a section related to the craft in the press. So uh, craft is generating quite some buzz over the, over the year. 
and it's kind of a collection of the main uh, articles that you can find uh, about craft. And also there's a section to uh, related to the future of craft, which will guide you to this website that I, I have created, which is called Making Craft Better. There you'll be able to uh, see a, a few articles related to how craft could be uh, improved uh, in different aspects of the application. So this is something that you can access from within the craft Bible. This is something I created, by the way. So you have the, the, the general idea of the craft Bible, what it is all about. Um, I hope you like the content. Uh, it's it's uh, the starting point. The starting point of the craft Bible. It's not finished. It's a work in progress, and the idea is that the foundations are in place, and from there, I'm I'm going to add more and more content over the next uh, few months as um, uh, as required. So again, I encourage you to visit the website, uh, leave a comment in the guest book. Or you can uh, leave a comment in the YouTube video comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to be notified of the next video. And again, thanks again for being there, watching my videos, and see you later, guys. Bye.